good morning dear students welcome back to the session so uh, in the past session we have already spoke about the cardinal utility approach and uh, how in the cardinal utility approach uh, the measuring of uh, utilities of satisfaction takes place in numbers that we have discussed isn't it and based on that you uh, also have seen the total utility and marginal utility how the changes takes place in total utility because of that changes how the impact takes place on the marginal utility and how do you calculate the marginal utility with respect to the total utility and also marginal utility calculation after that we have also seen the total utility calculation also so how do you calculate the total utility all these activities and also we have seen the relation between total utility and marginal utility also isn't it so yes uh, that is one approach where you can uh, make the consumers consumption level how much it takes place that was cardinal approach and what was the problem being faced in the cardinal approach to overcome that approach the ordinal utility approach also was introduced which means there was a two approach which was introduced to understand the utilities of satisfaction of the consumers with respect to the two goods the two goods were banana and mango yes we know it is very clearly these two goods were more um, what is that created the utilities of satisfaction in a person so what is this uh, what was the drawback in the cardinal utility and uh, because of that what was the things happening let us see first so cardinal utility approach as we have seen very clearly it is a measure based on the what numbers it is not a measure based on the number wise which means you are going to measure a number of uh, what is that consumption level based on 1 2 3 4 5 like this and identification number wise but here in cardinal approach uh, as the measuring is there you cannot assess exactly uh, uh, the person who is consuming that product is getting a that much amount of utilities of satisfaction also because for example if one person has taken a one single chocolate and he has eight and he got we are saying that he is getting 10 units of satisfaction it cannot be exactly 10 it might be 10.1 10.2 10.3 10.4 many changes might take place so you cannot measure in one sort of time or you cannot say that this utility of satisfaction can be measured and can be given a clear cut uh, what is that result of utilities of satisfaction so that was a point where uh, there was a problem being arised in that so that is what the drawback also but that is also a part of what calculating the way of consumption levels of the consumers yes to overcome this situation of problem in the cardinal utility approach the ordinal utility approach was taken birth okay so what was the ordinal utility says let us discuss all these activities okay so first thing the point here cardinal utility analysis is simple isn't it cardinal utility analysis is simple to understand so simple to understand means one unit two unit three units four units and how much units of satisfaction is 10 units and 12 units like this isn't it it is easy to understand but it has suffers from major drawbacks in the form of quantifying the utilities of numbers as i said you now quantifying the utilities of numbers means in the number of one kg okay in the number of one units how can you quantify a person's perception towards that you cannot quantify it is very difficult if you eat one mango you cannot say that very clearly i got 10 units of satisfaction in that case isn't it so if you say that 10 units of satisfaction how much 10 units of satisfaction has you taken place that we cannot say very clearly so such things arises in the mindset of the consumers 
so that is where it is not able to what is that quantify the utilities in numbers so for that uh, the thing the ordinal utility approach was taken at birth so next point in real life we never express the utility in the form of numbers so as you say we never express the utilities in numbers for example we have a cup of coffee or a cup of tea when we keep adding a number of cups or when you drink your first cup you will say how was the cup of tea it was you will say it was super you cannot say it has given me 20 units of satisfaction isn't it so you cannot measure the things you cannot measure exactly what has happened uh, a satisfaction level for you but you can rank that satisfaction isn't it first rank second rank third rank fourth rank fifth rank we keep doing the satisfaction level based on the what comparability so we compare from first unit of satisfaction to the second second to third third to fourth like this we do the comparisons okay so in the real life we never express the utility in the form of numbers okay so the third point it says we at most we rank these alternatives as i said you now we are going to rank the combinations in terms of having more or less of utilities see if i consume more i give the ranking levels for example let me uh, write here see if a person has scored marks of one second i'll write here if a person has scored a marks in uh, subject like eco okay and uh, in subject like yeah in eco only you can take so he has scored 90 he has scored 70 he scored 80 good 60 so here you have different categories of what marks for this particular subject so if you you cannot exactly say that uh, this particular marks which has been scored can assess so much of utilities of satisfaction for you but you can rank them and you can say oh this much of satisfaction has taken place for me for example we give this is first rank and we give this is second rank we give this is third rank we give this is fourth rank why see it is very clear this is giving more utilities of satisfaction 90 marks is giving more utilities of satisfaction compared to other utilities of marks compared to other utilities of marks so we rank it as first rank okay and now coming to the second highest which is giving more utilities of satisfaction compared to the other which is 80 isn't it so which is lesser than 90 and greater than 70 and 60 so we are going to rank it as second so this becomes what the second rank okay second satisfaction level and this is 70 is third satisfaction level and 60 is fourth satisfaction level that means what here utilities of satisfaction is compared okay utilities of satisfaction i repeat utilities of satisfaction is compared between one product one particular consumption level to the another consumption level see it has been compared from one consumption level to the another consumption level one consumption level to the another consumption level one consumption level to the another consumption level so based on this the ranking process is taking place this ranking process only we call it as ordinal utility okay this we call it as ordinal utility so based on this we we are going to deal the activity of process today okay so yes next point so in ordinal utility utilities cannot be measured as i said you we are not measuring but we are comparing okay but it can be compared like a b c for example b is greater than a and c that means you give it first rank okay rank number one next a is greater than what c but lesser than b 
okay make it second rank okay now c is at most we have only three products here so it should be third rank so likewise if you see it is only compared but not measured okay next ordinal utility is more realistic in the than the cardinal yes of course it is realistic because every day in life we are going to observe this ranking process okay now if you take iphone and samsung are the two particular products which has been manufactured by two different producers now you are the user you are the consumer of that product now what do you do you rank based on your what income isn't it you rank based on the specification it differs isn't it so you are comparing here you give first rank for the iphone you give second rank for the uh, samsung so likewise it happens okay so utility ordinal utility is modern approach it's not an ancient approach whereas cardinal utility is traditional approach okay it is a traditional approach those days it was there that things also was happening it is a traditional approach they will follow but still we also follow it's not that it is not out of the market it is inside the market but most of the time we follow the ordinal approach not the cardinal approach so next continuation of this we have indifference curve yes this is one of the beautiful concept where we come across with the ordinal activities of process okay so what is this indifference curve see the word itself says different and indifferent two words are there different means changes indifferent means no changes isn't it so be very particular in this particular concepts here onwards it is very important as i said you this chapter is very important since it carries 20 marks okay so suppose if we if i offer you people to any of the restaurant for the food okay it's an example okay okay understand suppose if i offer you people any of the restaurant for the food since you are feeling very hungry okay you are feeling very hungry if uh, i say uh, we'll go for three or four uh, name naming the restaurants okay i name three or four restaurants all are veg restaurants okay uh, because it is very uh, affordable to go only for the veg okay i'll offer you people to uh, five restaurants then i'll say you people all the five restaurant names then uh, if i say that what you people what the response will come from your side you will say sir you will please take us any of the restaurants it doesn't matter for us only thing is we should have the food that's it as of now we are feeling very hungry we should have the food that shows you are indifferent of having any number of goods please observe that shows you have indifferent in having any number of foods in anywhere in any restaurants in anywhere in any restaurants so that is what the example i was about to give you to start with this indifference curve okay suppose if we have given an option to have an food we say if you take me anywhere any restaurant any hotel anywhere you take it will not change my consumption level that means my level of consumption is having food okay it will not change at all wherever you go because i am in hungry to have the food that's a lunch break time or one o'clock or two o'clock it might be we feel very badly hungry we it doesn't matter that whatever we have it becomes a level of consumption that means no changes in consumption takes place how much ever you uh, take for any of the restaurants okay so this is the example goes so let us see that based on the um, activity how it takes place the combinations of two goods gives same level of satisfaction see combination of two goods means good x and good y so i have written here good x and good y you know good x is banana good y is mango 
okay so its combinations its usage or its consumption level of the combinations remain gives the same level of satisfaction they are saying that means a consumer is consuming the good okay one unit of banana and two units of banana three units of banana four units of banana and with respect to the banana he is also consuming the mango 15 units of mango 12 units of mango 10 units of mango 9 units of mango what is happening here here he is consuming this plus this okay this is the combinations happening okay this two is giving and this two is giving and this two is giving all the products are giving all the combinations are giving same level of satisfaction same level of satisfaction why it is like that because since consumer is rational and he is indifferent okay he is indifferent that is the main reason because of the indifference of the consumer and is a rational consumer he keeps what changing the activity as and when the increase in the banana takes place the decrease in the or the sacrificing nature in the mango takes place that is what you have seen tu and mu where in the uh, starting of this particular chapter total utility and marginal utility as and when the total utility of satisfaction increases the marginal utility decreases isn't it so here also it is totally different little bit different but remains almost near to the same here the good x and good y are the two goods okay the consumption level of banana increases from every single unit okay and here the every single unit as the consumption is increasing here he is sacrificing to get this particular product so initially he might buy one and he might give priority for this 15 okay he might consume 15 mangoes next level he feel like having one more banana okay and now he is reducing for that how much 12 units of mango that means it has been sacrificed from first unit to the second unit next third unit the sacrificing level again goes to 12 to 10 again two units been sacrificed so this keeps on going okay so now here it is nothing but it is a level of satisfaction we say how the two combinations of products been used or consumed so continuation of this i'll be explaining this mrs in the last thing okay and also i'll give this explanations in through the graph graphical way okay so the consumer is said to be indifferent on the different bundles that means what how much ever you say this particular consumption he is indifferent his what is that level of satisfaction remains same it will not change because each point on the bundles gives the equal what is that utility of satisfaction such curve we call it as what indifferent curve so based on this you have a graph here i'll show the graph can you observe yes yeah observe the graph here this is y quadrant or y axis and this is x, x axis and this is zero so it is most essential that you should write all the axis because without that you will not be getting a marks though your graph is correct and while drawing the graph it should be very particular it should be properly drawn okay try to use pencil and scale so that if any mistakes happens you can erase it and you can redraw the things okay so on the x axis it is banana on the y axis it is mango okay the level of consumption it is been given here so mango's consumption level and banana's consumption level when the one unit of banana is been consumed the 15 units of what is that mango is also been consumed in the initial stage next in the second unit of consumption it has sacrificed see the unit of banana is 2 and now the unit of sacrificing nature has taken place here which is mango it is 12 units next next for the third unit increase in banana the 10 units again it has been come down that means what it has come to 10 units that means again two units has been decreased okay later on it goes to one unit okay so now as and when if you observe see from here to here from here to here here to here there is a drop is there there is a fall is there there is an increase is there okay so 
if you observe that and if you see just this particular nodes or points where the junction or the point of meet takes place and when we draw the curve which becomes indifference curve no particular activity or no particular combination is giving different level of satisfaction okay it is giving same level of satisfaction see observe here all the points on the indifference curve gives the same level of satisfaction but there is a different combinations of purchase though it is a different combination of purchase the level of satisfaction remains same it will not change because the reason is indifference curve shows very clearly the he is a rational consumer who is consuming the product and also he is indifferent okay so that is the reason and based on that one more example is that let me say you the example is c a combination which 1x and this is what 15y and b combination is 2x plus 12y okay if one is increasing another one has to what decrease or has to sacrifice if this sacrificing nature is there then only we call it as indifference curve if it is not sacrificing then we will not call it as indifference curve we call it as monotonicity of preference okay so what is that let us see also in later so next one more example is here apart from that a is equal to 1x okay and b is equal to oh, sorry and uh, a combination 1x and 15y and b combination 2x plus 15y so what is this both the y are giving the same level of combinations isn't it 15 15 let us consider now and whereas x has increased 1x and 2x okay now just say that whether the consumer will go for the first this one combination or this combination of course he'll go for this combination the reason is here the x good or good x has been increased compared to the what the first combination of good a oh sorry uh, combination a so in that case if you observe very clearly this is what is that monotonicity or he is giving preference for this we call so this will not happen if it happens it is a mono monotonicity we call okay always this takes place which is a combination b combination and in the x good which is 1x and 115y the combination two level of purchase is taken place and two combinations are happening here a and b and b combination 2x and 12y the consumption level takes place so that means for every single additional of one good another good has to sacrifice another good has to sacrifice that is good x and good y yes and uh, explain uh, the things like this if x of b has increased and gives more satisfaction see x of b has increased and gives the more satisfaction according to indifference curve in order to the remain the same level of satisfaction they have to sacrifice if they are not giving on the same indifference curve then satisfaction will not be same see if they want to remain on the same indifference curve they have to sacrifice okay so for one unit 15 units has to be sacrificed for two unit 12 units should be sacrificed for three units 10 units should be sacrificed like this the sacrificing nature should be there okay then only we call it as indifference curve or else no next coming to the explanations of this also all the points lying on the indifference curve which is called a b c d provide the consumer same level of satisfaction yes that is true since there is no particular changes in the curve if you observe properly all the combinations okay a and b uh, a b c d all the combinations with the two goods okay gives the same level of satisfaction okay and it is clear that when the consumer gets more good of x he has to sacrifice few good of y so that total utility level of satisfaction remains what same see that means what happens here 
when you are going to consume this you have to sacrifice this when you're going to consume this this is x and this is y and this is x and this is y okay this is x and this is y so when we are going to consume the gold number x we have to sacrifice with so much amount of gold which is y so that total utility level of satisfaction remains same on this indifference curve okay since the level of total utility level remains same since he's a rational customer wherever you take he will have the food but his level of satisfaction remains the same because he wanted to fill his stomach okay next we have one beautiful word called mrs what is this marginal rate of substitution which we have seen okay what is that marginal rate of substitution it is a rate at which one commodity is substituted with another commodity yes what is this one commodity and another commodity the rate at which is substituted just now we have seen this table observe this is x and this is y here substituting this which means change in x which means what 2 minus 1 is 1 3 minus 2 is 1 4 minus 3 is 1 that means what change in x is taken place with respect to change in y 15 minus 12 is 3 okay 12 minus 10 is 2 so 10 minus 9 is 1 so likewise so that becomes mrs okay that becomes marginal rate of substitutions yes so here mrs is the rate at which one commodity is substituting to the other commodity okay so that is called mrs and how do you measure mrs as i said you now change in delta y change in delta x so small changes which takes place between two commodities x and y or good x and good y we call it as mrs okay next um, <clears throat> that is uh, i'll be explaining in the next coming uh, act activity okay so now continuation of this all combination gives the same level of satisfaction as we have seen in the graph that is true on a single indifference curve adding to above point which is this point why the indifference curve is sloping downwards it is very clear since it since this particular activity why it is sloping downwards see adding to this particular point the there is there is an inverse relation between x and y isn't it not this is x and this is y how it is inversely related one is increasing means one is decreasing see 1 to 2 it is increasing 2 to 3 it is increasing 3 to 4 it is increasing what x good and 15 to 12 it is decreasing 12 to 10 it is decreasing 10 to 9 it is decreasing so diminishing is taken place as there is a level of increase of the good x that is the main reason we call it as this curve is sloping downwards okay so this slope is sloping towards downwards from left to right also you can say okay or sloping downwards also we can say okay ic is nothing but indifference curve ic means indifference curve okay last point it has same level of satisfaction and it is inverse yes it is inverse it is not directly it is inversely proportional okay same thing we are saying directly proportional means this also should be 15 this also should be 15 it never happens like that okay it never happens 2 and 2 or 12 and 12 it doesn't happen if it happens it is monotonicity we call we will not call it as indifference curve okay so this is about the activity of indifference curve okay and next mrs we are going to speak now which is this last particular activity okay yes here combinations same thing i have written here also combination good x good y and mrs yes okay so mrs is nothing but marginal rate of substitutions diminishes with increase in the number of banana good x and as the number of banana with the consumer increases the marginal utility derived from each additional banana falls maybe you got confused here okay let me explain you very clearly okay mrs diminishes with increase in number of banana goods isn't it see here this is banana and this is mango and here it is increasing and here it is decreasing 
that is what MRS says as and when the increase of one good and sacrifice by another good we call it as MRS that we have seen delta y divided by delta x but after that they are saying that as the number of banana with the consumer increases see it is increasing right banana 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 4 it is increasing increases the marginal utility see now the word came here marginal utility word came marginal utility derived from each additional banana falls isn't it or not please answer me it's definitely it decreases definitely it falls see first unit when i consumed i got certain unit of satisfaction okay certain unit of satisfaction i got some some somewhat like i feel okay first rank i have given for that and second unit when i consume i won't get or i won't give the same rank for that it will decrease okay for this i'll give you one beautiful example uh, i don't know how many of you will drink tea okay because i love the tea that is the reason i'm telling you if i drink a tea of one cup i uh, which is very beautifully prepared i give the satisfaction level first rank because that will be my first cup of tea in a day starts with a cup of tea so when i do that it becomes i give first rank for the tea next i will be finishing after two hours or three hours little bit uh, work later on i feel like having uh, one more cup of tea now again i'll have the cup of tea but i'll not have the same satisfaction level which it was in the first okay which i gave the rank first i'll give the rank two for that next my friend will be meeting me after just 10 minutes of the gap of having a tea and he'll say let us go for the hotel and we'll have a cup of tea I cannot say him no because after a long time he has met me. So now I'll have a third cup of tea. I will not feel like having but still I'll have. Okay. And I'll give third rank for that. Next after some time. Maybe in the evening or maybe in the afternoon after the lunch break. All my colleagues will start saying that we'll prepare a tea. We'll have a tea. Yes of course. We will do that. But my satisfaction level will be what? completely different which means i give the what is the rank over here for the fourth rank now if you observe that if you observe that what i have said the marginal utility is decreasing right isn't it the marginal utility means what it decreases compared to the total utility of consumptions as and when the total utility is consuming the marginal utility is decreasing okay compared to first second it has come down compared to second the third has come down compared to third the fourth has come down so marginal utility is decreasing from every single additional unit that is what it says as the number of banana of consumer increases the marginal utility from each additional from each additional is decreasing it falls same thing happens for the good y now similarly in the quantity of mangoes which is good why okay the marginal utility derived from it increases yes as and when i feel every time i'm sacrificing 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 this mango i feel like having mangoes i will not ignore the mangoes i feel like increasing the level of mangoes i feel like if i come from if i consume only two units of mango okay and i have sacrificed three units I will say that myself next time I'll buy three mangoes okay after that when I again going to sacrifice one more mango I feel I, I feel like saying uh, if I sacrifice two mangoes next I'll say no next time I'll buy two plus one three mangoes that means what my level of satisfaction is increasing here so that is also marginal utility isn't it it is reverse process of this okay we are saying here it is as and when it is increasing marginal utility is decreasing as and when it is decreasing marginal utility is increasing okay so with increase in banana consumer has to sacrifice few amount of mango this fall due to increase we call it as mrs okay so mrs is nothing but so much unit of banana is been 
consumed with respect to the sacrificing nature of mangoes that is what mrs so delta y by delta x delta y delta x is change in x 2 minus 1 is 1 that is change in x 15 minus 12 is 3 isn't it that is change in what is that y so change in y and change in x so that is the point here we have to observe now this is okay fine we have uh, done with that now what exactly the mrs table says here let us see that the table says that from the point a to b the consumer sacrifice all the units of satisfaction like three mangoes with one unit of banana and from b to c two mangoes with two mangoes with 12 unit of mango sorry two banana with 12 units of mango and one uh, one banana with 15 units of mango so it keeps on going like three units of what is that banana sacrificed with 10 units of mango so here there is a ratio 15 okay 12 10 and 9 there is a sacrificing nature is there so mrs how do you calculate we calculate based on delta y by delta x it is very clear so calculation of mrs can shows very clearly what happens here see here there is a combination a b c d same combination i have written here okay observe so this is x combination this sorry this is the x good and this is the y good so 1 2 3 4 and 15 12 10 and 9 so every single unit of consumption level is increased here x good with respect to that there is a sacrificing takes place so delta y which is change in y change in x so change in x is 1 change in y is 3 that means before 15 it is 0 here before 1 it is 0 here observe before 1 it is 0 0 minus 1 okay it is 1 0 minus 15 it is 15 so here nothing comes so starting it is nothing 0 0 and here also nothing after 15 which is after 1 unit it starts which is 2 minus 1 change in x okay change in x that is 1 15 minus 12 change in y which is 3 so 3 divided by 1 which is nothing one 3 is to 1 ratio okay and same thing happens for the next 15 minus 2 it is 3 is to 1 next 12 minus 10 it is 2 is to 1 okay 3 minus 2 is 1 and 4 minus 3 is 1 and 1 is to 1 10 minus 9 so here this i have written sng which is nothing but sacrificing and this is gain so every single good is being sacrificed which is what mango is being sacrificed how much three units of sacrificing nature is taking place two units of sacrificing nature is taking place one unit of sacrificing nature is taking place for every single unit of what addition of banana okay for every single unit of addition of banana so much unit of sacrificing takes place hence it is called as indifference curve okay so mrs is the rate at which one commodity is substituting to the other isn't it this is substituting for this this is substituting for this this is substituting for this now you take uh, one more example i'll give you uh, detergent soap and detergent powder in the place of powder soap you are consuming so if you want to soak the clothes you require more number of powders isn't it and if you want to wash the clothes you require the soap okay so one soap is enough to what is that wash so much amount of clothes but so much of powder is required to soak the what is that uh, to soak and to wash the clothes so that means consumption level of the powder changes and also the consumption level of the soap also changes soaps keeps decreasing that means it reduces its size as and when you are going to use okay so here the powder is sacrificed with so much amount of soap okay the powder is sacrificed so much amount of soap so likewise it takes place two particular goods which is substitute in nature will be having the what is that mrs okay we will be calling as mrs now thus it is clear that consumer sacrifice smaller and smaller see 
consumer is sacrificing smaller and smaller first it was three then he sacrificed two later it is one next it will be zero so like this the sacrificing nature takes place become smaller and smaller quantities of mangoes which is good why for each additional banana which is additional banana is this isn't it from one to two is one additional from two to three is one more additional and three to four is one more additional so all these additionals i have shown here okay so this is about yamrs okay so students we will stop here today's session and tomorrow we will continue with the what you meant by indifference curve for the perfect substitute see here we have what is that uh, substitute uh, substitutes are there but perfect substitutes we will see tomorrow hope you people have understood if you have any doubts please get back to me thank you